Let's take a look at problem 21A, job order versus process costing. In our textbook, chapter two, we do job order costing. Chapter three, we do process costing. What you find is they're quite different. Job order costing is for when every customer is a little bit different. Everybody has custom needs and we make the product for them to order. They tell us what they want and we make the product for them. In those cases, we have to use job order costing, even though it's slower and less efficient, uh, because every customer is different. They use different amount of labor hours. They use a different amount of materials. Every customer needs tweaks just for them. Process costing is when you walk into the store and you buy something out of a package, they didn't make that just for you. They made those ramen noodles for everybody and you just go grab whatever pack you want. Well, they don't have to say, well, package number one, this is our material labor and overhead and package number two, this is our material labor and overhead. They can just go, we made a million packages. We spent a million dollars. Therefore our cost is a dollar per package. Process costing way more efficient, but it just doesn't work for a lot of types of companies. So this question says, should the company use job order costing, i.e. Do they make a custom product or should they use process costing? Is their product more of a one size fits all? If you can get away with it, you would rather use process costing than job order costing. Let's go. Um, so we're going to denote uh, what's more appropriate job order with a J and process with a P. A company that does car repair. Somebody brings in their car, their car's got a problem, you got to fix it. Every customer is different. Every customer needs different parts. Every customer needs a different amount of labor. This has got to be a custom job, job order. Uh, a company that does architectural design. Well, even if you're designing like kind of a one size fits all product, you still, every customer is going to be different, right? An architect's going to need to look at the lay of the land. Every customer is going to be different. This will be job order. A company that makes yoga mats, they're not making the yoga mat custom for me. I go to the store, I pick the yoga mat off the shelf and you know, they're making hundreds and hundreds of yoga mats at a time. This is process costing. A company that gives immigration consulting advice. Well, my goodness, I hope it's custom, right? If you are coming, uh, uh, immigrating from one country, it might be different for, from if you're immigrating from a different country. You need custom advice. This would be job order costing. A company that refines oil into gasoline. Well, when I pump the gas, they didn't make that gas custom for me. This is process costing. An accounting firm. Well, everybody's taxes are a little bit different. Uh, you the accounting firm will spend different amount of time with different kinds of clients. This has got to be job order. Every job is different and has different costs. A company that manufactures crayons. Well, again, the pack of crayons is the end product. It costs the same, no matter the customer, you're not making custom crayon packs, presumably, uh, for your customer. So this would be process costing a company that makes designer handbags. I don't know that much about designer handbags. If it was custom made for you, I think it would be job order. But my impression of designer handbags, even fancy like Louis Vuitton, or what is that fancy brag Birkin bag, I think is like the most fancy bags in the world, they're not made custom for their customer. The customer comes in and buys them, uh, I think. <laughs> I could be wrong about that. But in any event, my impression is even a fancy designer handbag is ought to be using process costing. They're making them dozens, maybe hundreds at a time uh, uh, without the final customer in mind, without customizations for that customer. If they're, if I'm wrong about that, if they're all custom, you can let me know in the comments. My impression is even fancy handbags uh, are process costed or ought to be. Uh, okay, there we have it. We've solved 2-1-A. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. The next video in our series is right up here. And if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.